we have a gathering of all of the clan members who are able to be in attendance right here at the Blood Bros Town Square. You can see them all out there gathering up. I think we're still waiting for Wickhaven to show up, but I'm going to go make an appearance down here very soon. Normally we start these off a little bit slower, but I'm running behind schedule. This was this is supposed to start in a, like 15 seconds. That's not going to happen. <laughs> but we have some pretty fun stuff on the schedule. We're going to be gathering out front here, and then we're going to have a speech inside of our town square, our town hall. We were going to have some other events planned, such as the Great Hunt, but we're not going to do that just yet because we're going to wait till we get the tradition of the Great Hunt is st instilled first, and we have a Hunt's Master and all of that to put this on. We're going to have a feast over at the Blood Moon Tavern, and then we're going to have a pool party, so it's going to be kind of fun. Hope everybody brought their bathing suit. There they are gathering down there. We have Alfard and Karen from the Verdarian Order gathering down there. We're waiting on Isabel and Shifley from Wickhaven to show up. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, let's go ahead and get down there. All right, I'm going to get us all in and situated. If everybody will follow me into our town center here. Let the uh, I'm going to I'm going to come forward and go between you guys, so make a hole and then the, let the clan let the clan leaders come in behind me. So you guys follow in behind me. Clan leaders, in particular, will let the we'll let the clan members they will have let our allied clan members have front row here, and then clan leaders, if you will follow me up on stage, we'll actually be going over here, stage left. So you guys can stand one on each side of me you like. Yep, perfect. So for any any clan members of the Blood Brothers who are not yet here, you guys are more than welcome to show up late. I'm just going to start the opening ceremony here and get the clans all welcomed in. I'm going to be doing a lot of this, most of this, in fact, in voice because everybody can hear me and it's a, a lot to coordinate so I don't want to have to type everything. If they let me copy paste, I would have had all this prepared already, but... So this Feast of Clans is all about bringing together the greater community of PAX Day, and not just PAX Day, gamers in general. That's what our clan has always been about. It's been about bringing people together to have great people by your side while you enjoy a good game. And that's what we're all about over here at Blood Brothers and the Cheeky, Brother, Cheeky Brothers United community. So I wanted to host this event. I put it all together so that we can honor our allies. It's not an easy thing to become an ally of the Order of the Blood Brothers. We're... We're not exclusive per se, but our role play is very, very particular. We demand loyalty from those who want to stand with us, whether that be in battle or in resource gathering or whatever it may be. It's the same that we demand of our clan members. Our clan members take a blood oath and they swear allegiance to be by our brothers and sisters side till the very end. If that blood oath is ever broken, they end up on the blood list to be hunted ruthlessly by our bloodhounds day in and day out. So the same is put onto our allies. So it says a lot of your character that you are willing to take the oath of allegiance to our to our clan. So I greatly appreciate that. And I have some tokens that I would like to present to the leaders of our allied clans. Let me get my F5 up here. Get a good screenshot of us standing up here. So as you know, Shifley, we're all about building bridges where others may build walls. I'm pretty sure those people to the north have gotten banned <laughs> because of the wall they were building around the resources. I want to reaffirm my stance on that, that the Order of the Blood Brothers is always, always has been and always will be for the free people of Tremen and the province of Carries and the greater areas of Pax Day. We will always unite people under freedom. Freedom of travel, freedom of trade, whatever it may be. That's what we are all about here at the Order of the Blood Brothers. So as a token to each of the leaders, I will place behind you, if I can open my inventory here, a steel pick, the finest pick that we are able to make currently. 
May this be a token and a sign of us breaking soil to a better, to a better future, that we may build more bridges in the future that will unite more of the people of Tremen and Dolovan, because the Vidarian Order is from Dolovan. I also have a sign divining mace to present to each of you to show that when a sword, or in this case a mace, must be raised in defiance of any tyrannical leaders that will arise up, that the, the Order of the Blood Brothers will be standing there by your side to strike down tyranny wherever it may be. The next token I have for you is some of the finest health tonics that can be procured. And these will be to heal our wounds along the way. Because as the Order of the Blood Brothers, we will bleed with you. And this will help to mend that bleeding. Those are the tokens that I have to show our gratitude for you being, along, being by our sides and being great people in the RP community, being a great clan, and being just awesome people to hang out with. So we've had a bunch of fun with you guys. Hopefully in the future, as this game evolves and progresses more, we'll be able to have many, many more great times together. So those are the tokens that I have presented to you guys. May you use them well. It is just a sign of goodwill from the Order of the Blood Brothers to the Vidarian Order and to Wickhaven. I also would like to present something to Cyrus. If you'd come up on stage, please. So Cyrus has been extremely loyal to me. She is one of the first people to become an Esquire in the Order of the Blood Brothers. She has fought alongside me. She has <laughs> ground out more resources than I can ever imagine. I don't deserve to be wearing the armor that I'm wearing currently. If it was not for Sa, I wouldn't even have it because I've been so busy with my streams and all kinds of stuff outside of RP, but she has been there by my side through the thick and the thin, through combat, everything. She's been a great leader. She has proven herself as being formidable in both combat and with her tongue. She's extremely sharp. So Sa, I would like to present to you the Howl of the... What is this thing called? <laughs> the Howl of the Eternal. The Howl of the Eternal is a mark that I'm bestowing upon you that you... It shows that you are now being promoted from Esquire to Knight Bachelor. So congratulations on your promotion. You are no longer an, an Esquire and you are now a Knight Bachelor. It is a probationary period that I'm sure you will fly through with flying colors, but... The next thing in line for you is knighthood. There will be many other promotions that will take place. This is the only scheduled one for right now. I have a ton of people that I that are in dire need of promotions and recognition. So if you're not acknowledged here, please don't take offense to it. Promotions are coming. Keep in mind, it is extremely hard to climb the ranks of the Order of the Blood Brothers and in the Cheeky Buggers United Community Discord. It's all about what you put in, you get out. The more effort you put in, the more you are part of the community, the more you'll get out of it. And the, uh, the more people see you around, you can climb our ranks faster and faster. So, Cyrus, congratulations on becoming, uh, taking the first step towards knighthood. You are essentially a knight now, but you're just in the probationary period. So, you are essentially the first officially... Uh, I'm trying to think, when the other knights were promoted, was there ceremony? There was a mini one for Rugrat. Oh yeah, that was when we got back from that one event. So please pick up your sword and return to the crowd. Saris, thank you very much for your service to the Order of the Blood Brothers. I'd like to give the opportunity, you do not have to by any means, but I'd like to give the opportunity to the leaders of our our allies if they would like to say any say a few words. I'm gonna pull up chat here so you guys can see the chat that's flying by. In game here, I know everyone likes to see all the background chatter and stuff. But congratulations to Sa. Thank you, Sa, for your loyalty through all of these trying times. So I'm going to give the stage up to uh, Wickhaven. If you would like to say anything, you do not have to by any means. But if you'd like to, Shifley, you are, the podium is yours. And after uh, Alfard, you being the second alliance that we formed, I will give you an opportunity to say whatever it is that you would like as well. Do not feel pressured to. If you don't want to, you can just put in parentheses like no speech written or whatever you want. Um, and then we'll pass it over to Vidarian Order. I know no one's like prepared for this. I'm not even prepared for this. I'm just speaking from the heart and letting you guys know that I appreciate you. So you're more than welcome to step up there on the stage if you'd like and and uh, let the chat know what you have to say.
This looks like uh, Shifley's tossing over to Isabel if she would like to. Again, you do, don't feel pressured to any. I know this is a, a big ask, and you don't have to by any means, but it's just a formality. Looks like she will entertain. Awesome, perfect. Stage is yours, my lady. I'm gonna have chat open so you guys can see what she's saying as well. You can also see it pop up above her, her head for everyone watching over on YouTube. Greetings all, I appreciate the uh, beginning, or burgeoning a friendship between our clans. The big words in me don't mesh too well. <laughs> on this momentous day, showing our camaraderie between us and all the wonderful people here. Wickhaven, for those unaware, is committed to my chat, keeps bouncing all over the place, committed to building bridges throughout our community, not only in physical spaces, but also in our actions and deeds together. We are honored to have a seat at the table on this day, and we hope that our intermingling people have a beautiful relationship together. Absolutely. Here, here. I agree. <laughs> Hell's waving. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you for the opportunity to speak, Shifley. I cede our time. All right, Alfred, if you would like to say anything, again, no pressure. You don't have to by any means. It's uh, purely formality, but if you'd like to, the stage is yours, brother. Alfred says, raises his hand and salute to all gathered. Friends, new and old, I am honored to be here to receive your hospitality and warm welcomes. In the Verdarian Order, we have a saying, and I have said it before, and will likely say it many more times. Our strength is our... Our strength is your strength, and your strength is ours. These words guide the order and who we align ourselves with, with the Blood Brothers. And Wickhaven, we have a community bound by common toil and purpose that will withstand all the travels, travels, travels that may come our way. It is humbling to be here and to see all of you as we reaffirm the bonds we share. Thank you to all of you from the leaders to the quietest who, who labor for those goals in silence and resolute dedication. To the gathered clans, we offer our heartfelt thanks. Thank you for your unwavering support, your, bold, your boundless compassion and steadfast commitment of making a difference in the lives of others. May the light continue to shine bright. All right. Thank you, everyone, for your heartfelt words. We are now going to head over to the Blood Moon Tavern, which is just over yonder, not too far away, where we're going to commence our feast. Uh, hopefully the game eventually will let us get drunk. Oh, and Miranda just jumped off and smashed her ankles behind. <laughs> we're gonna head over to the Blood Moon Tavern and Miranda runs the tavern. I have a couple songs queued up that we'll let play over to stream. Everybody can mingle, have some RP fun. We're gonna be putting out a bunch of food for everybody. So we will meet you guys over there. So this place is not fully complete yet, but it was a monumental undertaking. Templar, our blood mason, has done quite the work here. Uh, did you go upstairs, Anne Miranda? Is that where we're going? Okay, upstairs. Hey, we have a railing here now. Good, we won't fall. Oh, this place is looking awesome. I can't wait till we can actually sit in the fucking chairs. <laughs> this is great. Wow, look at this place. I haven't even seen the inside since it was furnished. This is looking really, really great. Look at this little nook over here with all the barrels and stuff on it. Holy shit, this is awesome. All right, let's get some food and drink distributed. I got some beer here. Let's get it all split up. Oh, I don't even know where that one went. I'm trying to put stacks out. I think they're going on the roof. Oh, there's one. I got one on the table. Everybody help yourself to drink. We have a ton of it. We got some... What is this? We got fine venison. Oh, that one went on the roof. Let's fill our bellies, get drunk on ale, have some syrup. Great view from here. This place is turning out awesome. I love it.
He's down, he's down on the bridge. <laughs> Look at all the nameplates. This is amazing. I'm gonna get a nice view from the sky here. I mean, I swing can properly place stuff down on the table and like sit down and actually drink from it. Do we know how much time is left until the sun goes down? So like 20 minutes still probably, huh? I'm gonna talk to Chloe for a minute here. Trust your... Greetings, High Lord. Oh, Isabel's is talking to Alfard. She says, Greetings, Sir Alfard. I don't believe we've made your I've made your acquaintance. Indeed. We have not met yet. I am sovereign. Oh yeah, they, they go they that's their title they use is sovereign. I think is how you pronounce it. Sovereign Alfard. Sovereign Alfard. This is Sovereign Aaron. We lead the Verdarian Order of Dolaban. Very nice to know you and yours. I'm the emissary of Wickhaven. We are a public works cooperative guild in this area. I said Wickhaven has been a great alliance to have made over these trying times. The bridge they built was a symbol of hope and peace in our lands where others built walls. Alfard smiles warmly at Isabel. I am pleased to meet you. The Vidarian Order is dedicated to aiding those who ask for our assistance and operate as a cooperative commune. Uh, we pool our collective resources in order to accomplish our goals together. We have the best allies. We really do. They align with us so well. That sounds wonderful. We have a common goal, it seems. She bows deeply. Like I said, if everyone will follow me down to our riverside pool, we'll be having a little fun now. All right, everybody, pick up all the excess food. Get your bathing suit ready. We're gonna see who can survive off the high dive. So we have a pool not far from here that we like to retire to and shed our armor of battle. It is said to have healing waters, although it might just be the mead. <laughs> all right, here we are, everybody. Feel free to find somewhere to change. Change wherever you want. If you want to swim, you do not have to swim. But I am definitely going to be hopping in the pool. I'm changing right here. I'm not shy. She goes, Rugrat, are you okay? He's floaty. But feel free to relax, hop in the water. We have a hot tub. We have snacks over here by the spit roast. And this is where we like to hang out. We normally wait till the... Can somebody res him? So we like to hang out when the sun goes down, which should hopefully be soon. But feel free to get your bathing suits on and hop in. This is what we did off camera last time. It's a lot more fun under moonlight. We uh, we get a little rowdy every from time to time, and we'll we'll hop out in the. It always makes you stand up automatically. It's so frustrating. Uh, we hop out in the river and we do laps. We we go high diving like Rugrat attempted to do. <laughs> but make yourselves at home. Hey, he's alive. Uh oh, Sal's gonna try and. Sal, are you going from the high dive? Regret held his breath for a very long time. Might be the waters. I did say they had healing properties. <laughs> I did say they have healing effects. 
All right, everyone, get crazy. I'm gonna try diving off the roof. All right, Graz, after you. <laughs> I don't think you could even make it from here, can you? You made it from all the way up here, sir? I knew I, I knew I knighted you for a reason. Yeah, show me, let's see. Yeah, what was that? I'll show you, he says, and he lands on the balcony. Oh! Yo, Graz made it! Holy crap! Hell yeah, brother. Alley oop! Oh, my ankles! <laughs> it's alright, the waters have healing properties. It's alright, the waters have healing properties. Oh, Shifley didn't make it either. <laughs> it's such a tiny little area you have to make. We're almost like inside of each other. <laughs> Thanks, Coco Puff. Yeah, yeah, you got me. Get Shifley up too. Oh, I died again because of the. <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't have any stamina. Official goes. Don't worry, the waters will heal you. <laughs> Everybody's dying. This is hilarious. I'm gonna go from. I'm gonna go from right here. Oh, what the! I fell out in the lake. Symbolic says, I wish the emotes lasted longer. Yeah, they, they need to make the emotes last indefinitely, honestly. They both died. <laughs> they didn't make it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like... Right in the middle you have to land, because if you land halfway up the stairs, you break your ankles. Oh, Graz! It's a skill shot for sure, honestly. Gosh, how long are the days? We need moonlight for skinny dipping in the lake. Oh, Symbolic just broke! That wasn't even close, Symbolic. <laughs> uh oh, Coco Puff's gonna jump off the uh, the gazebo there. Oh, he's stripping down. Here we go. Ready for action. Hey, Chloe showed up. Splish splash, he made it. Chloe, don't swim with a dress on. Silly. I wish the sit lasted longer. Is Chloe hitting on me? She just came and sat right next to me. She's in a dress. I want to type to her. I don't. I don't think she is. Hey, Chloe, do you not have bath attire? <laughs> Uh oh, she's gonna she's gonna stand up and strip right in front of me. <laughs> Pool parties are the best. Yeah, when you stand. Oh, she <laughs> she stripped in front of me. <laughs> Is that mead in the pool? <laughs> At least it's not sap. <laughs> the whole auto stand thing needs to get fixed. Oh, I better go address them. Looks like they're leaving. Oh, Shifley wants to talk to him. 
appreciate the invite. We had fun. Again, visit anytime you like. We love visitors. We will definitely be visiting. I want to talk to you too, Alfred, about um, something for the future that I want to get planned. I want to hear your ideas on it. Um, so hit me up on Discord and we'll we'll have a chat about that. So Shifley wants to talk to Alfred. Let's see here. Thank you. Look forward to the next gathering. Smiles. Oh, he's asking where in Dolivan does he hail from? Uh, Shifley, in the future, if you guys would like to go out there, we can get a caravan together, a convoy, and we can head down there, and I can I can show you where they're from. It's so weird to see my character out of armor because I'm just so used to being armed up all the time. That's why I think this RP is a lot of fun because I imagine my character would just be absolutely <laughs> just pissed being in armor all the time. Did I read Bud Brothers? What do you say? Good day, Alfred and Karen. It was a pleasure to meet you or meet another clan that has such a close ties to the Blood Brothers. Thank you again to all of you for the hospitality. I must go now. Uh, but I, but I'll swing by again, likely in the near future. Look forward to seeing you all again. Thanks for coming. It was a bunch of fun. Push this rug right over into the water. Rug right, she pushed you. You have to jump in now. She pushed you. You don't have a choice. She forced her RP upon you. <laughs> Yeah, symbolic. It has been daytime for quite a while. I've heard that the daytime is 40 minutes and the nighttime is 20 minutes. I'd like to see an hour of each, honestly. One hour day, one hour night. Or at least symmetrical, because I really, really like the moonlight. They've made it... They've made it a lot less blue. Shifley says, now, void like, I know that you had nighttime activities planned, but I have... I have my reasons to not say out loud too late these days, so... Wait? Wait a minute? Is he alluding to something? Is he- Oh, that's right, he saw the ghost! Oh, okay. Shifley. Um, Sa did inform me about that run-in you had. I understand completely. If you have any concerns, you let me know. I have not fully given it a name yet, but I am forming a supernatural investigation group within my clan, the Order of the Blood Brothers, we're gonna be we're gonna be checking out all things supernatural. So rest assured that everything will be taken care of. You have nothing to fear. It's not shown that much hostility in the past. But I know exactly what you're talking about. At first I was like, wait, can he not be out during a full moon? I know someone else is kind of alluding towards that RP. But Shifley, I completely understand. Thank you for coming. I hope to see you guys again in the future. Hey, oh, is Isabel staying or is she going with you? Because I'm committed to staying until the sun goes down now. But I completely understand the whole ghost encounter. Apologies, Grand Marshal. It was wonderful to come and appreciate the feast. And the sun... Oh, my ch chat's bouncing all over the place. I appreciate the feast and the sun and her beauty, but I feel as though I'm getting to be a bit... It's I'm getting to be a bit in my cups. Does that mean... Does that mean drunk? What does that mean? A bit in my cups. Drunk? That's what I thought, yeah. I'm gonna take my leave as well. All right, Isabel, thank you for coming out. Thank you both for coming out. Hope you guys had fun. Just a little fun RP thing I wanted to throw on to hang out with our allied clans and all of our clans members who wanted to attend. So thank you guys very much. That was a lot of fun. We like to do these things from time to time to get back to our roots of of RPing because that's what we all set out to do from the beginning. Some ale for the road, absolutely. If you guys need anything, you just let us know. You can always call on, on the Blood Brothers. Now you don't have as far of a trip back, but safe travels back to your land. Shifley, 
Make sure you make it there before dark. I think I need to I need to rinse the blood off my armor. So I'm gonna do a quick lap in my armor. It's healing waters. I need to. Yeah, I wish Moon could have been here too. We'll have more parties in the future. Should be able to should be able to join in. Alright everybody, thank you for attending the Feast of Clans. Thank you to all of the allied members who showed up, the Vidarian Order and from Wickhaven. We had a bunch of fun. We look forward to... If you guys have any events in the future, make sure you reach out to our uh, our clan members in the diplomatic branch. And we'll make sure we get something set up so we can come attend anything that you guys may have set up. Now back to your regular scheduled activities.